Yo guys, my name is Zach and this is gonna be my tattoo tour. I mean, we might as well just like get into it. Gotta take this off. But as you can see, I do have a lot of tattoos. I'm gonna try and get through them all. I probably will miss a few, but we're gonna get as many as we can. I think pretty obviously we need to start on my first ever tattoo, which was this seagull here. So as I said, um, I didn't have any tattoos at this point and I was definitely trying to convince my parents to let me. I was about 18. 17? No, 18 at the time. And I wanted to make sure that my first tattoo definitely had significance and meaning to me. So whenever I tell people that it's my first tattoo, they're like, why do you have like a seagull on your arm? But this is why. So my granddad was a massive Brighton and Hope Albion fan. He literally took me to so many games when I was growing up and like really, really got me into football, which was amazing. And I had some incredible experiences that I'll never forget. He literally was like one of my idols in life. But unfortunately in 2019, he passed away and when I was looking for something to get that was really significant that was the first thing that came into my mind he was an absolutely incredible man and that is just something that every time I look at it even when I'm like 80 90 years old I'll always remember him and um, I think he'd be happy with it I think he would like it my mum however his daughter she took some convincing. The next tattoo I got was this little 14. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus, but right there, the number 14. And the story behind this one is that it was my first ever football shirt number. It was my dad's football shirt number, and it was my favorite Arsenal player's football shirt number, which was Thierry Henry. So ever since then, it's kind of just been like my lucky number. So anytime someone says like, pick a number or what's your favorite number or lucky number, or whatever you want to call it, it's always the number 14. Yes, that one was definitely more for my dad. After that, I got this writing that you can see there. If you can't read it, it says there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. It obviously is a really lovely saying and it's something that my mum told me. I really wanted things to just like kick off and just, you know, start doing shows and releasing albums and all this stuff. I was a very impatient child. And then one night on FaceTime, she said that to me and I was like, good words, Julie. So yeah, then she was absolutely appalled when I got it tattooed on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mum. Also, something a lot of people don't know about me is I'm a massive movie fan. I could literally watch movies forever. Like, just love them. So, I ended up getting Hogwarts from Harry Potter, which you can just see there. I also got Lord of the Rings. That's the fellowship there on top of Aragon's sword. It's really hard to show these ones. I got a DeLorean from Back to the Future. That's, again, one of my favourite franchises. Star Wars here. This is Anakin and Luke's house on Tatooine. I sound like a right nerd. I am a nerd. I am a nerd. I'm a proud nerd. I got some music notes there because obviously music's just absolutely part of me. I've got a book here which was for my brother and my brother is really good at writing. He's an incredible storyteller and I always wanted to get something for him but I was never really sure what to get so I decided to get something that he was really interested in and um, I'll never forget it. Here's a really cool one if you're a Here At Last fan. So I got the original, original, original Here At Last logo. Before we've got the one we have now and before the one before that, this was the original one. And I got this four months into being in the band. No one here can say that I'm not committed, eh? Opposite to the number 14, I also got the number 93 here. So my best friend growing up, Ethan Constantino, check out his music and music videos. He's amazing. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in here at last. The reason for that is, is that I was always his like guitarist and I was his backing singer and that was the life that I really wanted. I just wanted to play guitar and I wanted to sing and I could do both of my best friends. So it was a win-win. However, I recorded um, a video in his shed that he really wanted me to do of me singing a Post Malone song. And I wasn't 100% on posting it, but he was going, oh, you need to post it. This is really good. You should do it. You should put yourself out there a bit more. And um, I ended up doing it. It then ended up on Instagram, which is when I then got the DM from Tommy asking me if I wanted to be a part of the band. So I've got the number 93 because that is his lucky number. And, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. So I only have him to thank. One of the only ones that doesn't really have meaning is this, like, boombox here. And I wanted a really, like, cartoony kind of tattoo. So I got a boombox with the words boom above it. I then have a little guitar here because I play the cello. I got um, a Joker card here, and the reason for that is because um, I really wanted to be an actor growing up. But Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight was one of my biggest inspirations. He makes me really want to play a villain one day in a film or a show. So I got a cool little burnt Joker card. And it looks cool as well, but that to me is like my thing to say. Remember acting so you one day could do it again. I've got an old-fashioned microphone. God, this is really difficult. Old-fashioned microphone because I'm a singer. 
I've got a rose here, which is probably my most generic tattoo. I've got the word breathe here. So when I'm holding a microphone like this, that's obviously saying breathe. And I think that's in both words, one saying relax and one remembering a bit of technique when singing to actually breathe. A lot of people think, by the way, I got this tattoo here because of Louis Tomlinson. The actual story is I was meant to get a matching tattoo with Ryan of this and he never got it. I just have this now, but I'm going to make sure one day he gets it so I don't feel like an idiot. Now onto the big ones here. I've got a big pirate ship that you can see there. That's Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, the movie side of me. Also, just because I was a massive fan of the films growing up and I loved Captain Jack and Will Turner and everyone like that. So that was massive for me growing up. I've got Poseidon here. For a lot of people that don't know, I am half Greek and he is a Greek god. And I just thought it went really well with the pirate theme. So um, Poseidon being, you know, god of the sea and everything. So um, yeah, that felt like it really worked well. And I think it looks pretty cool. Some people might not like it, but I think it looks really cool. I've also got a compass here sticking with the pirate theme as well as a rope and also an anchor, right? But it's made like out of my skin in a sense. Do you know what I mean? Like he's made the anchor shape by shading the stuff around it, which I thought was really cool. I'm really struggling to show these off, by the way. This is like stretching or a warm up or something. And also underneath all of it is a map. I'm not sure if you can kind of see that. So the whole way around, you can kind of see this. <laughs> this map kind of shape going on underneath, which is really cool. On my chest, I've got Roman numerals, which again, probably is a bit of a generic tattoo, but it's my mum's birthday. I love my mum. I thought I had to get something really significant for her. On this side, I've got a cross with a crown on it. Am I missing any? But the thing is though, with all these tattoos, whether they're stupid or really cool, whatever your opinion is of them, they're part of me. They become like scars or like moles or anything to do with your skin. I don't look in the mirror every day and go, oh, I've got tattoos. They just become part of me. I wouldn't change a single thing about them because they all tell a story and they represent a different time in my life. I remember when I got every single one of them and I remember every artist that did it. And each one has massive significance to me. Some people aren't a fan of tattoos, but these are genuinely a part of me. And I think it's part of my personality and I love every single one of them. And more likely than not, I'm going to get more. I'm not going to be completely covered like face and neck and everything but I definitely could fill up this arm a little bit as you can see it's very very plain there's not a single tattoo on it my mum might disagree with that but either way yeah that was my tattoo tour if there's any tattoo ideas you think I should get please put them down in the comments and if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me I love you guys a lot for just watching this video thank you so so much and have a lovely rest of your day